Today we're going to be flying a 747, except this time we're going to be flying over a military base that has flak cannons. Let's get started. So as you can see, I filled this thing to the absolute brim with passengers. So we're going to stuff some people here, and these people um, don't even know what's going to happen. Here's your first class seats. It's about to be the worst flight of your life. Anyways, let's enter the flight deck here, and oh my gosh, I forgot how many buttons this thing has. Okay, this is going to be interesting. We have to activate our APU battery. Oh, we don't want that on. Um, okay, activate all that. Activate all of our engines, just like that. Perfect. Perfect. Dude, I am such a good pilot no i'm not i don't even know what i'm clicking to be honest there we go we're starting all main engines all main engines are being started right now uh we're gonna turn on some lights here so taxi lights um what's going on here okay uh all engines have started all right perfect one two three and four are all on and we have some very bright lights here wait i don't know if we should have those on that is so far away this is gonna take ages to go over there how far is that 33 kilometers okay well uh we definitely need to get this party started so full throttle here we go ultimate overdrive 180 throttle on takeoff will we be able to take off choking this plane off before it is pretty simple so let's see if i can manage to do it i think our park brakes are on um wait planes don't have park brakes um all right we're pulling up out of the air i think we're in the air guys all right let's put our landing gear up even though we should probably wait a little bit longer that's fine who cares all right landing gear is going up right uh yeah it is okay and then let's start slightly um angling towards our waypoint here so all passengers please um seatbelt seatbelts i don't even think i turned on the seatbelt sign um whoops uh low psi and engine uh right fuel pump okay that's fine who needs psi what in the world all right so i think we're going uh over there now so let's turn on some altitude hold here so let's um put it all the way to max here and then we're gonna enable autopilot and altitude hold will that actually work um let's see there we go guys i think we're all level here but we need to turn on some interior lights all right so we're gonna click all these i don't even know what they mean i think there's some like day and nighttime ones but we're clicking all of them all right there we go all right all lights are on and we do have some bathrooms that aren't um locked oh you even have a uh, mirror in here that actually works that's actually pretty cool but um yeah this is first class up here so this is where all the rich people are at with another bathroom it's locked so there are some people in these bathrooms but let's see how our um, actual passengers are doing up here hello guys how are you guys doing watching the um airplane there okay okay this is a very expensive flight guys so make sure you're being professional and use your manners yeah how's that is it very entertaining yeah it looks really fun to watch like oh that must be so entertaining guys okay anyways Let's take a rest of the tour here. So over here, we have a grand spanking kitchen in this thing. Of course we do. Then we have another bathroom on their side. And then we have like 300 passenger seats. And I'm pretty sure there's a floor either above this or below this. Uh, I don't know. Hold on. Let's check. Oh, God. Never mind. We're not in the plane I thought it was. Okay. They could definitely put another floor in this thing. Like, there must be a whole bunch of space up here and down here. Oh, yeah. They could fit a whole bunch more floors. But, um, yeah, they just stuffed one in this thing. It's perfectly fine. But, yeah, let's go up here. Definitely want to be piloting this thing. We have 18 kilometers more to go. So, this can be a long trip. And I did not check the weather radar. So, we might have some storms on the way. Let's probably go ahead and check that while we're up here and kind of ask ATC what's going on with our weather. Neotastic to ATC. Um, what is the weather going to be today? I'm a little bit concerned on what's going on. Uh, we do have an active volcano down there. Uh, they told me the weather is supposed to be clear. Oh, that's the first time we've ever gotten that, guys, I think. Oh, my gosh. Okay. You know what? I'm feeling um, happy today. Why don't we bring a passenger up here in the flight deck, and we're going to let them fly the plane for a little bit here. That seems quite interesting. All right. Who wants to fly the plane? Of course, it's going to be that lady right there. So she is a professional pilot. She's been um, she's been flying for a couple years now, more like a couple seconds when she did crash the plane. I let her last fly, but we're going to give her another chance here. We get multiple chances on this plane. So here, I'll put you in the co-pilot seat so you're not going to get anything um, crazy here. There you go. All right, we're going to lock this just in case. So yeah, that's your flight stick right there. Do not pull on that too aggressively. We do have um, passengers on board, but um, hold on. I, let's remove our waypoint here. I think I actually do see the um, island down there. Is that it right there? I do you see it okay let's start um angling towards it here just like that all right everything's going to plan here guys we're going directly towards the island i think it's all going to go to plan here i wonder if this 747 is going to be able to make it through the flak this is going to be very interesting this is a very large plane so I don't know if it's actually going to damage it a whole lot, but we're going to see here. Oh, we're getting some alerts right now saying we're um, entering some restricted military airspace. Okay, so we are getting alerts here, Debbie. That means um, we need to keep flying forward. Yep, that's exactly what that means. That means we keep going forward. We don't do anything. Just let go of the controls and let autopilot do its thing. That's what we do at this point here. And we're going to actually hammer it. Oh, we, we've been full throttle this entire time. That's quite concerning. But let's see what happens here. We are um, really entering their airspace here. Let's see if we get intercepted by fighters. Because sometimes that does happen, which is a little bit scary. So... Um, Neotastic is entering the flak firing zone. What is that? Who knows? This is going to be interesting, Debbie. Are you prepared for what's going to happen? Look at her face. She looks like she's so focused right now. Oh, yeah. Neotastic has entered the flak firing zone. 
No, I haven't. Like, what are you talking? Oh, oh, flak on the main wing. Turn off altitude hold. Uh, we're under heavy fire, heavy fire. Neotastic to ATC. We are getting struck upon by a uh, military base flak currently. Um, I need you guys to call this off immediately. This is an actual war crime. I'm in a civilian airliner. Oh, we just got hit by a big one. Oh gosh. Okay, we're still running. We don't have any damage, surprisingly. This is actually quite easy. Like, honestly, who? I do this every day, it feels like. I'm just such a good pilot. So what we're going to do here is roll this thing hold on is uh autopilot's on okay let's turn that off there we go now we got full control of this thing we're gonna roll this thing just like this and pitch downwards okay they're probably crapping their pants down there probably thinking what we're about to do but we're not gonna do that okay we're gonna pull up um at the last second okay that's that's our goal at least hopefully that does actually work oh yeah they're probably scared down there and their little flat cannons all right where's this flat cannon at um oh there's an explosion down there what happened down there i don't know where are these flat cannons at is that one right there oh it might be it's kind of blinking at me that okay, that kind of looks like a flat cannon right there we still don't have any damage okay you know what? i think we're gonna pull up right now and switch it to hard mode all right question mark hard okay hard mode is on this is the absolute hard mode um really is this really the hard mode that they're talking about um this is easy yeah vehicle damage is on um debbie actually has really low health so it is damaging them but it, I, i'm fine at least so that's all that matters oh there's more settings so hard is like half okay if we go to expert here that seems interesting okay so should we switch it to expert i think we're gonna stay on hard for a little bit longer here see if it actually does anything but debbie debbie oh oh debbie what are you doing oh i need to get back in my seat okay we're not trying to die here because i am definitely the most important um debbie what are you doing you cannot be sleeping on the job okay you go back in your seat right here go back in your seat um debbie is no longer with us okay that's perfectly fine but we honestly still don't have any damage that's a little bit weird but um i'm fine with it i'm fine with it i think we're gonna change it to expert here because um of course i'm an expert if you guys don't know so expert mode is on will we survive expert mode flak oh my gosh that is huge okay i think flak's gonna much larger now i think they're switching to much larger rounds of artillery if i'm not gonna lie here oh my gosh oh we are taking some damage now we are taking some damage even here in the cockpit we have some damage on our walls right there oh major explosion on board hopefully some of our passengers are still alive is anyone alive in there oh i see some bodies oh lord have mercy guys i don't think we're doing too well we actually don't have any warnings up here besides the low psi warning which um is perfectly fine honestly who cares about low psi but this flak honestly sucks like i probably could change it on to what is it um insanity okay i don't know what insanity is let me know if we should test that right now in the comments should we turn on insanity that seems pretty interesting but i don't know if we're gonna do that right now we're just trying to avoid the normal expert flak so i have to be an expert to um be avoiding this right now and i think i'm an expert guys this is quite easy that's some absolutely huge explosions though that's at least the size of this entire plane so if one of those actually get a direct hit on us this thing is done so i can guarantee that but we're currently dodging all the flak oh gosh guys this is rough this is rough okay we're gonna fly a little bit lower here maybe i need to get more in their range oh gosh that that lit oh that one did hit oh gosh okay we do have some oh wait uh engine two is down engine two is down okay we need to abort abort we need to fly out of here engine two has just exploded okay we're gonna do fire pull for engine two i engine two has fire suppression currently going through it all right all right it is not working oh, wait is it yeah it is okay it's kind of spraying it out that's weird but engine two is currently on fire i'm flying through smoke right now i don't even know where i'm going oh my gosh this is so chaotic guys 747 versus some flak this is crazy we're getting hit by flak all over the place we have scratch marks all over guys i think we're um taking on some major damage here um engine two is completely cutting out let's turn off fire suppression for that we're currently trying to climb to um try um getting out of the flak range currently so we're gaining altitude this is insane i don't think a 747 can do this in real life but they actually broke one of our landing gears so we're having a hydraulic failure right now oh this is actually insane we're flying straight up and they're still shooting at us with flak it's actually getting quite close some of these bullets so it's a little bit concerning i don't even want to know what insanity is like that must be so insane like what it has in its name that's just honestly a little bit scaring okay we're leaving the flak firing oh oh that was a direct hit oh guys i think we're having issues here we're definitely having some hydraulic issues oh gosh um we have a major hole in our plane right now hopefully um that doesn't affect us too much oh yeah there we definitely have some passengers that did take that bullet head on oh that's a little bit concerning we are still flying though who needs engine two honestly i think engine two is just a prop this um 747 in real life can actually fly just on one engine actually all um commercial planes are supposed to fly on one engine but i don't know how i don't know how you'd fly on an engine if like let's just say the only engine you have left is an outside engine how would you counter that from a flat spin i don't understand that but here we go guys i think we're gonna go back down and 
turn on um insanity mode once we are back down there so we're just gonna drop some altitude here oh yeah we're going down guys everyone brace for impact oh oh they broke some of our monitors here um how do, do it i really hope they don't break my seat here because that'd honestly be game over for me like oh i just saw blood you guys see blood oh Oh, there's blood going through the plane. Um, I think some people have died, guys. Oh, there's people flying all over. Lady, you have to be sitting down. Oh, major explosion. What's going on? Oh, they hit the edge of our wing. Guys, I think we have a fuel leak going on. Oh, gosh, we need to pull up. Oh, major explosion. Oh, I think that hit the same spot. We're taking evasive maneuvers right now to avoid this flag. We are under heavy fire. I need you guys to call off this attack immediately. I am a civilian aircraft. This is unlawful. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. We're going down. We're going down. Pull the joystick all the way up. Here we go. Pull it up. Ooh, we're pulling so many Gs right now. Not really. We're in a pretty large plane. Oh, 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 that. Oh, we have no controls. We have no control. Guys, uh, I have no control. What are we supposed to do in this situation? Um, okay, well, this is kind of concerning because we're still flying. I'm not in my captain seat, matter of fact, because it's broken. So there's no point even being in that. I should probably try getting out of this thing. I think we're stuck doing infinite loop-de-loops until we actually um, crash into the water here, which is a little bit concerning. But we're still flying. This thing is actually a tank. Holy. Next time, I think I'm going to bring a repair torch so I can repair my seat right there. Oh, that hit some important stuff. Oh, oh we're angling back down. Let's see if we're going to crash this time. Um, Let's see. Oh, I really really need a repair torch here guys oh gosh oh engine two engine four three and two have just exploded oh my gosh all engines are down all engines are down actually this time engine one is just completely shut down so we're going down okay so this is a little bit concerning here this is what you would see as the co-pilot right now we're going straight towards the water here we go will we survive the impact plane crash Oh, this thing's completely stalling. It's trying to pull up as hard as it can. Oh, wait. I think we're going to stall here. We're going to see our exhaust actually go higher than our wing. Oh, oh, we got another direct hit right there. Oh, no. That really hit a main cabin. Oh, we're stalling. Our exhaust is going higher than our wing. We are under heavy fire right now. I told them to call off this airstrike. Oh, only three and four are on. Oh, this is actually one of the worst scenarios ever. Um, wait, we're still kind of hovering here. What's our altitude? Oh, we definitely can't see what our altitude is. Everything's broken. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we're definitely going down. We're actually going in reverse down. Here we go. We're spinning in a circle. Oh gosh. Will we survive the water landing? Here we go. Everyone brace for impact. Head down, stay down. We're about to crash straight into the water. Oh, this is going to hurt really bad. Actually, this actually kind of looks like a smooth landing here. Here we go. Brace for impact and we have officially landed okay i should probably start getting out of this thing um are we floating i think we're floating okay so what i'm gonna do is definitely get out of here where's debbie at oh debbie you cannot be in the bathroom okay well, this is an active emergency hold on i think i have a defibrillator solid defibrillator in here here it is okay defibrillator oh we're filled up with water oh oh wait she's actually dead we can't revive her okay emergency exit emergency exit is opening okay thank gosh that works is there any passengers still alive oh no we need to get out of here every man for themselves we need to get out of the sinking plane oh gosh it's filling up let me out let me out oh, we just made it out of the sinking plane okay we did make it out that is a complete success right there but um there's still passengers in here hold on let's snow clip in and kind of see how they're doing anyone still alive in here hello hello anyone alive um i don't actually see anyone respawn the plane but this time we're gonna have it on insanity mode so this is it's gonna be really crazy hello first class passengers please prepare for takeoff we're going round two this time and it's on insanity mode so this is gonna be interesting actually we have to switch it right now you have chosen death is what it said when i enabled insanity all right i'm prepared i'm fully prepared i'm committed to this mission i think we're gonna be able to survive um besides the fact that we actually failed on the hard mode so anyways i think we're fine i think this is gonna 100% survive here. All right, put our landing gear up and I'll see you guys when we're there. Oh gosh, I'm a little scared. Here we go, guys. A whole five kilometers. All right, I need to tell my first class people to absolutely brace for impact here. Guys, we're about to go through like Hiroshima, but we're like straight above it. So this is going to be absolutely wild. We're entering the flag firing zone. All right, I need to go back up in the cockpit. You guys stay safe and brace for impact here. This is going to be insane. Oh gosh. Okay, we're going to turn off um, altitude hold and autopilot. There we go. Everything is off. I have full control. I'm entering the flag firing zone. Oh, here we go, guys. It's about to get serious. Oh, oh my gosh. Those are so big. That is like seven times the size. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, um, 
it despawned the plane and I'm still getting shot at. Well, what kind of radar systems do these? Oh my gosh, it's launching me. Dude, this is actually insane. It's launching me. That's so cool. Um, Well, I'm going to be going for eternity if these things keep shooting me. Oh, I'm leaving the flak firing zone. I wonder why. You guys literally launched me straight out of it. Um, I think I need a bigger plane if we do, um, if we are trying to survive, um, the insanity flak. That is actually so insane. Um, these are the birds flying above the airspace. Are those tracking them? Oh, oh, major explosion, dude. Those are actual nukes. That is a war crime. I was in a passenger 747 and you shot me. Oh, well, that's probably going to be it for this video, guys. Let me know if you'd like to see some more of these flag cannons content. These are absolutely fun to do. But make sure you guys go ahead, drop a subscribe and a like on this video and comment what your favorite part of this video was and what we should do next. But thanks for watching and goodbye.